You all right? <laughs> My leg is broken. The bolt's coming through. Let me see. Let me see. Ah! I'll give you a fucking bone, you prick. Where's my fucking money? You know, you got a reputation for immaturity, and it's not going to be improved by not paying the tributes the acting boss demands of you. Acting boss, my ass, Tom. Come on, everybody knows you really run things since Jackie became the chemo sabi. Oh, open the fucking door. Open the fucking door! You ever heard of the Masada? For two years, 900 Jews held their own against 15,000 Roman soldiers. They chose death before enslavement. And the Romans? Where are they now? You're looking at them, asshole. Hey, Mr. GQ. Got a ticket. Yeah. How you doing, Mike? How you doing? <laughs> oh. Suits wrinkles. Here, let me fix it up for you. Ow! What are you screaming about? For your alterations? Oh! <clears throat> Mr. Scott! Ow! This is overdue. Good morning, rat. Who are you? What is this? Don't make me laugh. Oh. You pimp. You fuck. Teddy, there must be something we could do. Tony. It's Tony, you fuck. You know how much trouble you're in now? You took an oath. And you broke it. I could have killed you last night outside the motel. Your daughter was drunk, remember? I was there in the parking lot. I had a gun, but I didn't do it. Because of her, I told myself. It's just a coincidence. It's taking this little girl to college. You know, one thing about us wise guys, the hustle never ends. You shot me at that motel, your life would have been flushed on a piece of dude. Please, honey, I'm begging. Jimmy says hello from hell, you fuck. Excuse me? They don't sell hot dogs here. They took the bleachers out two years ago. It's my hat. I'll wear it where I want. Christ, relax. What the fuck you doing here? Taking us to God's, putting in the marina next door. No shit. Look at this baby, I caught right up the point here. The victor belongs to spoils. Why don't you get the fuck out of here before I shove your quotations book up your fat fucking ass? Do you remember one thing this you better hear? You want to talk all this old school bullshit about the rules? Well, here's a rule you might remember. I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother or we're going to have a problem. A bad one. 
Now get the fuck out of here. All right, Tony. Yeah. All right. Tony, no! Got a problem besides those fucking pants? You shouldn't yell. Oh, yeah? You should mind your own fucking business. I make business. She's a nice girl. Yeah, what are you, a family counselor? You want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Yikes! Yeah, now you're fucking involved, okay? <laughs> She's a boss, right? Oh, yes! Do something. Oh, yeah. You want to be involved? Now you're involved. Oh, you let go! I you call police! Mind your fucking business! You! You call police! Fuck you! I'm sorry, Tony. I wouldn't do anything to insult you. Our kids go to the same school together. Tony, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just having some bad luck. Just got worse. I'm gonna come back. My luck's gonna change. Come on, man. I want something tomorrow. You wanna stand there? <laughs> Thirsty. See if we got something to drink. What can I get you? You want a Fanta? Something like that? I mean, you sure you want a diet drink? You don't want something with some sugar in it? There's only diet. It's good. You finished? Thank you, T. Could that sugarless motherfucker? It's the last fucking drink you're ever gonna have. Oh, shit, God, Bobby! Bobby, please, Tony! My uncle's just asking for what my father would have given him if he was boss when Richie got out of prison. And it had nothing to do with they were brothers. You respected my father and you respect Richie. Those who want respect, give respect. See, he just told you to shut the fuck up. And he told me to go fuck myself. Driving over here, I was thinking about how I was going to handle this. Been working on my anger lately, so I figured it'd be good if I could just quietly say, any kind of problem you got, financial or otherwise, you know, you come directly to me. Please, leave Carmela the fuck out of it, you know, like that. Of course. Then I saw the Cadillac. The money I give you, you're driving a Cadillac and you're looking for more? Shot the whole plane. You know, my uncle, he's not doing so well. He's got a bad reaction to that chemo. That happens all the time. There's nothing that I, I can really do. You know, there are worse things that can happen to a person than cancer. My uncle thinks he's gonna die. He's convinced of it. Now, you know how old people are with their superstitions. He thinks it's because he went against you.
I was a surgeon, that's all. You gotta be on your act. Show that man the respect he deserves. Answer his phone calls. Cheryl, make sure Mr. Soprano is scheduled for two. Just remember it. I loved you. What happens I decide, not you? Now, you don't love me anymore, well, that breaks my heart, but it's too fucking bad, because you don't gotta love me. But you will respect me. What a zero growth in this family's receipts. There's no fucking money. You're supposed to be earners. That's why you got the top tier positions. So each one of you go out to your people on the street, crack some fucking heads, create some fucking earners out there. Why don't you just calm down and be perfectly calm? Oh, we can talk about whatever's bothering you. Yeah? Tony, this is crazy. Go! Oh, Tony! a line in the sand when it comes to mothers. You lay your hand on him, and you're gonna answer to me. If you can quote the rules, you can fucking obey him. You hear me? Don't just look at me. This is a business. Did you hear what I said? Yes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Sands Hotel proudly presents the star of our show, direct from the bar, Dean Martin. The hell? It's that boat. Drink to me only. That's all I ask. As, and Spook out. I will drink. Fucking Goomba trash. This whole shoreline's turning into the Gulf of Sorrento. Hey! Buddy! Turn it down! How long I've been on? Coffee? No. Things have changed around here. I'm the boss of this fucking family. You're crowding me. You don't make fun of me. Got it? Got it. 
What did I tell you when you came to me? Said you wanted back in. I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. In my day. And that's another thing. I don't want to hear no more about how it was in your day. You just keep your antidotes to local color, like Dynaflows or McGuire Sisters or shit like that. Otherwise, shut the fuck up! You got some balls, kid. I'll give you that much. You'll give me what I tell you to give oh, me. All the time. Take it easy. Take it easy. Fuck that. This ain't the 70s. And I'm not a kid. Relax, it's an expression. Well, here's another expression. You got five days to give me my money. Come on. Mr. You okay in there? Oh. 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 You, right? you run oh. for me, you fucking cocksucker? Where's my fucking money? I'll get it. I'll get it. My neck, Tony. And what do you think? I'm an asshole? No, huh? no, no. Huh? No, Tony. I can't hear you. Can't no, hear you. no, please. Tony. Oh. Oh. You got 24 hours. Oh. Go 911. They're on their way. It's all right. Oh. Oh. respect you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one every decision you make affects every facet of every other fucking thing it's too much to deal with almost and in the end you're completely alone with it all i'm sorry you feel that way this is the course i've chosen and those of you that are not with me on it well that makes me say it and it'll be dealt with in time. You need me for anything else? What's your fucking problem? What the fuck is your problem? Slamming the goddamn refrigerator door. What? No. What, are you gonna argue with me now? I didn't even open the refrigerator. The Coke was out on the counter. So you are gonna argue with me? Huh? You fucking mutt. Look, Tony. I don't wanna... You don't wanna what? You don't wanna what? This fucking guy, huh? Fucking Philadelphia lawyer. <laughs> Don't do it! No, 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 If you're not at that site tomorrow morning, I'm going to take away your car. And then I'm going to take away your clothes. And then I'm going to take away your room. And I'm going to take away your mother's cooking. And pretty sure you're going to be out in the fucking street. What the hell are you doing? I get a little drafty driving down here tomorrow. But I will have this fucking thing towed out of here and ground up in a fucking Brillo patch. I mean, look at it. You don't take care of it. Don't put me to the test. And I'll pay my debts 
head of the family. How's that gonna look? Who's gonna know? It's like Eddie Valentine. A guy from Philly? With the polio leg and the built-up shoe? No, from the fucking Twilight Zone. You must have seen that one. He's a small-time hoodie gay shot. Maybe you should start sucking cock instead of watching TV land. Because Vito bought in three times what you do on construction. Yeah. Peppers and cheese. Uh, Gagan's off. All right? Forget. Wow, whoa! Sit down. Sit down. Easy. Easy. Motherfucker. Fucking daughter! My fucking daughter! Motherfucker! My fucking daughter! Hey, you want some shampoo with this? Tony, you're making a big fucking mistake here. I put a ball in your fucking head, huh? Don't do it! You want some? Uncle Bobby's dead. Yeah. You know, this is really depressing to me. He was a good guy. I, I was already having so much trouble maintaining. Sandals are fucking resort wear. I'll be waiting downstairs. Go!